Hello everyone. I'm Mansoor Ahmad. I teach radiology at the University of Minnesota School of Dentistry. In this series of videos, we will review multiple intraoral radiographs as a part of the summer seminar course for D3 students at the University of Minnesota School of Dentistry. These images will create the basic knowledge for intraoral radiographic interpretation exercise in the fall and spring semester. Students enrolled in this course have already completed a two-credit, 30-hour interpretation course in the second year of the dental school. We'll spend about five or six minutes in reviewing this single peripical radiograph. As a part of description, you will begin with identifying the image as a mandibular right premolar peripical radiograph. You will also mention any technical error. On this radiograph, the crowns of the teeth are not completely recorded. It is not necessary to completely record the crowns on a peripical radiograph. It is necessary that you record the peripical region and a few millimeters past the epiphysis. So this is an acceptable diagnostic image. The radiograph has recorded both the premolars, the first molar, and the mesial root of the second molar. We will focus primarily on the first premolar. On the distal part of the premolar is a well-defined homogeneous radio opacity. This radio opacity is continuous with the root. There is no demarcation between the root and the radio opacity. We can trace the pedial space which follows the outline of the radio opacity. The density of the mass is similar to tooth structure, similar to dentin. The root does not appear to be resorbed. The second premolar is slightly distally displaced. Similar but less pronounced finding is also seen on the mesial root of the first molar. You must have figured out the diagnosis of the mass as hypercementosis. So what are the clues of diagnosis of hypercementosis? The hypercementosis is an excess cementum around a part or the whole root surface. This makes the root with a bulbous shape. You will also see pedial space around the mass. Hypercementosis has distinct features. There are not very many conditions that may be confused with the hypercementosis. As a part of your differential, you may include dense bone island or idiopathic osteosclerosis, peripical cementosis dysplasia, or even a cementoblastoma. First, let's review dense bone island. You may easily identify a dense bone island based on these radiographic features. Dense bone island or idiopathic osteosclerosis is an area of uniform density. This radio opacity has no radiolucent band, nothing similar to a PDL space. As in this case, there may be some root resorption. Here you may see the apical pedial space of the resorbed root. A peripical cementosseous dysplasia is also easy to identify. In the later stage of cementosseous dysplasia, there are irregular radio opacities surrounded by irregular radiolucent band. The peripical cementosseous dysplasia has a mixed density the cementosseous dysplasia is most common in middle-aged females of African descent. So a 40-year-old African-American female, this is one of the common description. A cementoblastoma is a true benign tumor. While a hypercementosis has no symptoms, a cementoblastoma can be painful. This mass is usually circular or oval, mixed density, and surrounded by a uniform radiolucent band. This radiolucent band is surrounded by areas of radio opaque band. 
the affected root may be resolved. As part of this course, you are required to write a radiology note. The note has to follow the description of a lesion using BLAST format. On a separate video, we had discussed the BLAST format of writing. This is the interpretation form that we use at the University of Minnesota for basic interpretation exercise for a single intraoral image. Let me make this form a little bigger. On top part of the form, you will provide identification of the image. You will provide a description of the major findings using BLAST format. On the lower part, you will provide a differential diagnosis and a management plan. On the bottom, your faculty will grade your write-up and oral presentation. Here is a sample write-up of the radiology note. You may stop the video and read the note by yourself. These are some papers that are helpful as further reading about hypercementosis. Thank you very much. I'll see you again with another video.